focus. Come on, man. So good. What's going on, you guys? It has been way too long. This is like my first YouTube upload in 2019 and we're already in March. Crazy! I've definitely missed being on YouTube. I miss vlogging. I miss sitting here in front of the camera and talking to nobody else in this room, but hopefully you. Hopefully you on the other side of the computer screen or monitor or cell phone or whatever you're watching on is listening to me. I was on a six week trip to Asia and I didn't do any vlogging there. It was just kind of, you know, we, we, we did some travel videos and, and kind of took, took a lot of took a lot of footage but no personal like no vlogging to the camera type thing but yeah here we are back at home back on this channel and we are going to start uploading again big things are coming this year uh, in 2019 ever since I got this first camera that I'm shooting on right now the M100 at first I thought I was just gonna vlog with it I thought I was just gonna you know get used to you know, carrying around the little Joby Gorilla Pod with a camera in front of my face, vlogging stuff. Oh, my phone just went off. Gotta put that on silent. All right, well, it's on silent now. I got the M100 because I thought I was gonna start vlogging, and I did. We did, a, you know, a few cool vlogs last year. But this year, I'm pretty sure I know now what I'm going to be, where I'm gonna weave into as far as the niche goes. We are going to try and dive into the niche as far as this YouTube channel goes. As an actor, being in front of the camera, but as well as a filmmaker behind the camera. We got ourselves a new camera. We went with a Micro Four Thirds Panasonic G85 and we're rocking a speed booster on there. While I was in Hong Kong, I was actually looking to buy it there. But for some reason, nobody had them in stock. People only had the G9s and the GH5s, and that's just way too expensive for what I'm looking for right now because I'm still super brand new at this. And it did come with a kit lens. Came with a 12 to 60. Uh, I don't even know what the aperture is here. 12 to 60 something, 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 something. But I, I've personally actually never used this. And with this, I'm still able to use a 50 mil that I've been using with the M100 to shoot. Um, and I took this with me on my travels. Oops, the lens cap just popped out. But we went with the big dog and went with the Sigma. Uh, this is the 18 to 35, non-variable aperture at 1.8, I wanna say. I definitely work with better, better low light. I don't know how much I'll be shooting at night or in low light uh, situations, but uh, that's good to have on hand. And my newest addition with this um, whole setup right now is I went with a Rokinon, focus, there we go. Went with a Rokinon uh, 85 mil prime, and this has got a manual aperture, manual focus only, because I really wanna dial down on manual focusing. This is a 1.4 um, aperture, so I've got you know a pretty good variety of lenses here that are really, really good for low light, good for shallow depth of field, and I think I'll be able to really work with and start with doing um, my own projects as far as being behind the camera. With the setup right now, I think the only thing that I'd be needing would be a nice wide lens, which I am looking at a couple different ones. You know, it'll probably come within a month or two or sooner. Um, yeah, I kind of just wanted to update you guys on where I've been, what I've been doing. I went to Hong Kong, Philippines, Malaysia, and stuff like that. I was gone for six weeks, did some traveling, went on a honeymoon, had the best time. But now we're back here eating toffee fei, toffee fi, toffee fi, toffee. If you know how to say this properly, let me know in the comments below. Check out this first project I did for a tattoo artist um, out here in Vancouver. His name's Devin Stacy. He did some work on my arm and my sister just happened to book him for her tattoo. So I hit him up and was like, hey man, I'm trying to get into videography. You know, just trying to build my portfolio. Would I be able to come shoot you? Because it was my sister anyways that was getting tattooed and she can't say no to me. So basically, I still want to really, really, really show stuff about acting. And I really definitely do want to progress 
as far as uh, filmmaking and doing videography and stuff like that goes. So we'll be doing kind of both in front of the camera and behind the camera. If you like what you see, please subscribe and look out for future videos. And with that, here it is, G85 in action, tattoos, needles, let's go. I've been in your world